Do you think age can be a factor when it comes to cancer treatments? The princess in her early 40s, the king in his mid 70s? Definitely age. Younger people tolerate treatment much better, not necessarily emotionally, but physically. Their bodies are able to tolerate the, the toxicity, the unpleasantness of chemotherapy. We make it as easy as possible. We've got lots of drugs now that we didn't have when I started in oncology to stop the sickness, to reduce the fatigue a little bit. And we're much better at looking after people than we did. In the old days, we give them a shot and then that's it, come back in two weeks for another, three weeks for another shot. Now we give them counseling, we give them help, we give them a phone line and the contact so that any problems they can phone in and get help. And you talk about a support network there. How important is it to have family members around you at a time like this when you're going through this treatment? It's very important to have someone around to care for you and to support you psychologically as well as physically. If you feel tired, you want to be able to relax and have tea brought to you and so on. Uh, but it's really important to have emotional support and that can come from a family, from a partner, uh, from even from grandchildren it can come. And you see all sorts of wonderful things happening in families that may have dissipated a bit, split up, daughters coming back, having been absent for 10 years, coming back and living with their mum uh, to, to keep her through a difficult time in life. Because of course we saw Prince Harry come back across the Atlantic when the King had his cancer diagnosis or made it public. So I suppose that just shows perhaps how it can bring people back together. It does. And I think making it public is really important because, you know, there are about 350,000 patients a year get cancer, a thousand patients a day nearly. And so to know that the royal family have the same problems as us, it's a, a wake up call that you can't avoid it. And we have to live with it. And they're having to live with it too. And everyone copes in very different ways. 